Next, this one is more just a reminder than anything new, but it is a reminder that we do still have a way for anybody to send anything out to the email distribution list. Anybody who's on that list can send a message to the full list just as easily as writing an email. All you have to do is, in the area where you're sending it to, the address that you're sending it to, is send it to awwaneb at gongle.net and that will send it to that full distribution list. You can just write the subject line as you'd like, so here's my subject, and then you just write the message just as you would and announce it in any way that you want. So you can say, here's an announcement. Type it out, put it in there, and all you have to do is go back and when you're done, click send. And when you do that, what it'll do is it'll put it in the holding pen and that gives me the opportunity to review it and approve it before we send it out. Um, that approval process there just prevents spammers from sending junk mail out to the list. They try to do it all the time, and so I filter that out so that it doesn't go out to the list. It also provides a bit of a safety net in case you, I don't know, misspell something or uh, somebody sends something in reply to the list rather than sending it as a reply to the person who sent it out originally. We get those on occasion, so that's why the approval process is there. It's just to keep people from getting a bunch of junk in their inboxes. But the reason I would encourage you to send them out yourselves instead of sending them to me to send out is simply that this way it prevents sort of that email fatigue. I don't want people to get the idea that every time they see an email from me and it says AWWA, they're like, oh, geez, here's another announcement from Gongle. I don't want them to get that. I don't want people to fatigue on that. I think if they see it coming from the committee chair who's involved or whoever it is who's actually involved with something, uh, it gives them the idea that, you know, hey, there are a lot of people involved here and that's the person to go to if I have questions. Sometimes if I send something out on somebody else's behalf, people reply to me with questions instead of replying to the person who actually uh, wrote the original message. This just kind of saves that confusion uh, and it's just pretty simple. Now, of course, I'm more than happy to help anybody send it out. And if you're more comfortable sending it to me first uh, to then relay out, that's just fine. Um, but I think this is, you know, something that it's easier than people expect. All you're doing is just sending that email to this address. And just like you'd be sending out a regular email, just send it there. And it sends it to that holding pen for me to approve it and then send it out to the full list. So I'm there to kind of provide that safety net and, and keep people from making big mistakes or anything like that. But it's a really simple way to send something out. You, you really don't have to go through me in order to send it out. Um, and in fact, I'd encourage people to send them out directly. And again, more than happy to help you out the other way if you're more comfortable that way. But I'd encourage you to try this out because really it's, it's nothing other than sending it to that address rather than to me. Um, also, just as a side note, I still need help figuring out why MUD addresses keep getting bounced off of the list. So if anybody has any insight there for who I might need to speak with, please let me know. I'd love to get uh, everybody from MUD back on the list permanently, but every time I add them on, they keep getting bounced off. So I'd like to uh, prevent that from happening.